Well, first of all, thank you for coming to Beth Israel. Thank you for wanting a discussion about different uh, movements um, outside of Orthodox. It's uh, education is a great thing. I'd like to actually start with three bendiciones, three blessings. Um, the first one is I'd like to offer a shahechiyama since this is our first time, and I truly believe that in opportunities uh, such as these, we have to turn to uh, Dios and just say thank you for bringing us to this moment. So, juntos. So, what's uh, La Sopa de Rey Enosh? Baruch And the last one would be. Um, I believe that in opportunities such as these, when we educate ourselves and share thoughts and feelings, experiences, in a way we're repairing the world, okay, because we're broadening our, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, uh, well, I'll say it and you can repeat after me, okay? So, Before you say it. Eh, también juntarnos para estudiar y para ser mejores personas, estamos componiendo al mundo, reparando al mundo, entonces vamos a hacer una plaja de Tikkun Olam de reparación. Tikkun Olam. So, the first six words we know, Baruch, Baruch Atta, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech HaOlam, Shenatan Lanu, Shenatan Lanu, Hizdamnut, Hizdamnut, Letaken, Letaken, Et HaOlam. Et HaOlam. Que nos dio la oportunidad de preparar el mundo. Ok. Y hay personas que no hablan inglés, nada, nada. They're probably too shy to say so. Mm -hmm. no. 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 All right, let's go on. Let's um, <laughs> bubble some this <laughs> right. um, Okay, so we were here to talk about a little bit um, reform Judaism, conservative Judaism, what they are exactly, their differences, their similarities, and also with the Orthodox. Just kind of try and give you a, a, an idea, a little bit of history. Okay, because the story of the Reform and Conservative. So I'd like to begin with an activity. Okay, so pick someone that you can talk to for two minutes. Okay. Huh? No problem. Okay. Preferably just one. Can I pick? Right? And here's the question. Here's the question. What happened a few thousand years ago? Actually, in Estepa de Shah, right? What happened on Mount Sinai? ¿Qué pasó en el monte Sinai? Did God really give the entire Torah? Torah should be kitab, the written Torah. Torah should be alpay. Did God really, really? Is that what really happened? Was it just the Ten Commandments? Did Mount? Did it? Did Mount? Is the story true? Did it really happen? Who would like me? Can give it? ¿Qué con solo los diez mandamientos, Dayeinu, okay. todo lo demás, otra vez, yo, más y más, mm -hmm. pero solo esos diez mandamientos, yeah. 
Excellent. No sé tú. exactamente qué pasa en, en Montesinay. Como usted dijo, racionalmente a la mejor afuera. Okay. Racionalmente no, o okay. se llevaría el mar, pues quién sabe, okay. pero es tener fe en que sí okay. sucedieron así las cosas. Excelente. Eso fe es fe. Fe. Emuna. 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 Yo lo veo como es un código de leyes, que es el principio de cualquier Cosa. que van después o... no que es eh, o sea lo manda es un sí creo que Dios lo manda ah. porque tiene que ser alguien superior a nosotros uh -huh. y eh, manda es un código de leyes y sobre esa base puede pasar todo lo demás pero no, creo que fue lo único que pasó pero de ahí nace al todo ya tiene una legislación ya hay una ley para todo y de ahí ya puede es una buena base. And people started to discuss what do we really believe? I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I believe in a power greater than me. Right? But I'm not sure exactly what happened on Mount Sinai. I'm not sure all of the Torah. Do you believe in Adam and Eve? Adam and Chava? Do you believe in creation? Seven days, really? Okay, so these theological questions started to circle around the very intellectual group of German Jews. And they didn't let it rest. And everybody belonged to the Orthodox community. But they didn't let it rest. They kept talking about it. We have this Kufat Askalakis. The years of enlightenment. Jews were going to university now. They weren't living in the little shtetl. Right? They knew science. They knew biology. Do some of you go to cultural art events that are not in the Jewish community? Yes. Yes. Take it out of your life. Okay? What am I doing? Of course giving you the life of a Jew in Germany in 1850. Okay? Their entire life was inside the Jewish community. And they said, enough. I want to be a German. Or I want to be a Mexican. I, 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 I'm proud to be a Jew. I like to be Jewish. And I like my traditions. And I like my value. And I love my God. I don't want to live a normal German life as well. I want to go to other German people's homes for dinner. I want them to come to my house for dinner. I don't want to dress like this. I want to dress like you. I want to keep my traditions, but I want to be a German. I'm proud to be a German. So together with this discussion of, hey, what really happened on Mount Sinai? People started to say, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time for a change. Maybe there's another way to express Judaism. Maybe there's a otra manera para ser judío. Okay? Kosher? Kosher? I don't know. I'll be honest, not me, right? The Jew in uh, 1850. I had some uh, food over at my neighbor's house one day. I ate it. No pasa nada. Rico, que rico. Right? And uh, poco a poco, the laws, they were questioning the laws. Is this really important? Is this really relevant? I want to be able to work and express my Judaism in the way that I want. And maybe kosher is not so important. 
What's more important is, how do you say wallet? <laughs> is your wallet kosher. When Jews came to uh, Ellis Island in New York City mm -hmm. for immigration, ¿qué quieren trabajar? Right? And the jefe says, oh wow, ¿quieres trabajar con nosotros? Sí. ¿Puedes trabajar en el sábado? No. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yo necesito, yo necesitamos uh, personas algunas veces. Pueden trabajar en el sábado también. So, the reality was, hey, the man came home to his family and said, listen, algunas veces yo necesito trabajar en el sábado. What's more important? We have to sustain life. So, Reform Judaism began. Reform Judaism was a good uh, solution, solución para muchas personas. Okay? So, here was Orthodox. And I want you to imagine that Reform Judaism starts to grow, and all of a sudden, some people in the Reform movement, they felt, you know what? We've gone too far. Too far. I can't even, where's the Judaism? Right? Too far. And these people said, we need to come back just a little bit. We don't want to be Orthodox, but that's too far. And that's too far. So they came back, and they formed a third movement, conservative. That's the way it is for mil años. Right? You want to come with a poema? Dentro de Salmos de Melech David? Are you crazy? No. That is progressive Judaism. It's the, the history of Judaism is we add. We take out. Okay, so now I gave you examples of putting in. But what about the Ten Commandments? The Serata de Brot. The Es Mandamientos. Once, that was part in part of the Shabbat. How do I know? I don't. We don't recite the Ten Commandments in Shabbat. It was taken out. The Chadudi came in. The Elenu came in. This came out. We've been doing this. This is, the, this is Judaism. Historically, we develop, we change, right? And that's what conservative Judaism said. Let's go back to the real tradition. The real tradition is Judaism moves and changes slightly 